Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Father, whose creating hand brings harvest from the fruitful land, your providence we gladly own, and bring our hymns before your throne, to praise you for the living bread on which our lives are daily fed. O Lord, who in the desert fed the hungry thousands in their need, where want and famine still abound, let your relieving love be found. And in your name may we supply your hungry children when they cry. O Spirit, your revealing light has led our questing souls aright. Source of our science, you have taught the marvels human minds have wrought, so that the barren deserts yield the bounty by your love revealed. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, and for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me, and I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? I long to look on you, O Lord. Do not turn your face from me. O oh Lord, hear my voice when I call, have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken, seek his face. It is your face, O oh Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O oh God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him. Hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you protect and strengthen those who hope in you. You heard the cry of your son and kept him safe in your tent in the day of evil. Grant that your servants who seek your face in times of trouble may see your goodness in the land of the living. I long to look on you, O Lord. Do not turn your face from me. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way, the primacy is His. Let us give thanks to the Lord for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of His beloved Son. Through Him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. 
in him everything in heaven and on earth was created things visible and invisible we were created through him all were created for him he is before all else that is in him everything continues in being it is he who is head of the body the church he who is the beginning the firstborn of the dead so that primacy may be his in everything it pleased god to make absolute fullness reside in him and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person both on earth and in the heavens making peace through the blood of his cross glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen he is the firstborn of all creation in every way the primacy is his A reading from Romans chapter 8. God sent his son in the likeness of sinful flesh as a sin offering, thereby condemning sin in the flesh, so that just the man's of the law might be fulfilled in us who live, not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. The word was made man, alleluia, alleluia. The Word was made man, hallelujah, hallelujah. He lived among us, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Word was made man, hallelujah, hallelujah. I came forth from the Father, and have come into the world. Now I leave the world to return to the Father, hallelujah. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I came forth from the Father and have come into the world. Now I leave the world to return to the Father. Alleluia. Christ our Lord came among us as the light of the world, that we might walk in his light and not in the darkness of death. Let us praise him and cry out to him. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. God of mercy, help us today to grow in your likeness, that we who sinned in Adam may rise again in Christ. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. Let your word be a lamp to guide us, that we may live the truth and grow always in your love. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. Teach us to be faithful in seeking the common good for your sake, that your light may shine on the whole human family by means of your church. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. Teach our hearts to seek your friendship more and more and to make amends for our sins against your wisdom and goodness. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. Let us make our prayers and praises complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful Father, 
you have made known the birth of the Savior by the light of a star. May he continue to guide us with his light, for he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.